Not that bad, it'll be in. Scary. All right, guys. So, this last video here was just from um, Monday this week. I um, I finally made my way into the hospital and I had this uh, cyst removed from my lip. I'm really happy to have it gone. Uh, it made for an interesting dieting week. Um, Sunday night after my last video, uh, I had to fast from about midnight till the surgery, which was in the afternoon at like two o'clock. So I had to I had to keep uh, my stomach empty. For that, they they put me under general anesthetic. So uh, they put me to sleep for a couple hours and uh, removed the cyst. And then after I woke up, it was basically just like soft uh, cold food for the day. So I kind of uh, ate, well, I didn't eat junk, but they told me to eat ice cream and popsicles and all that crap. So my diet was pretty bad on Monday. And uh, yeah, um, following that on Tuesday, not working and going to the gym. Uh, it just wasn't a good start for a diet week, but um, I think I think I'm where I need to be this week. Um, things are moving along well. Um, we're down to the last two weeks here, so this is when it gets tough, and uh, you really got to put in that last bit of effort uh, to complete your uh, to complete your prep. A lot of people can get down to the the, uh, uh, the, the low, low body fat numbers, but they can't quite get that last bit. That you need to uh, to win a show or whatever it's it gets really tough so uh, I just weighed in 205 pounds so um, we're just gonna check our body fat uh, I think last week it was like four and a half five mil so hope, hoping it's down a little bit more but uh, we're just gonna check it out things are looking good if we have uh, four and a half or four that would be great but uh, we'll see what we got yeah four and a half again Yeah, last week it was it was between four and a half and five. Today it's four, four and a half consistently, all in the same area. So it's not uh, the consistent uh, four millimeter reading I would hope for, but um, we still got two weeks. Um, training twice a day now. Uh, that's one of the reasons my weight's staying up. I'm, I'm actually weight training twice a day now, and I'm adding about 45 minutes of cardio to the end of both those weight training sessions. So, yeah, really doing that last push to get the last bit of fat off. I'm pretty happy with how I look. This is about as lean as I've ever been. And uh, to get to that next level, we're, we're going to have to just uh, sprint for the finish line here. So, should be good. Um, everything on this prep has gone well so far. Everything's come together. And, yeah. Um... I'm looking forward to getting the show done. This weekend was the Western Canadians in Kelowna, and a lot of people I know competed in that show. And um, uh, yeah, it's just, it's interesting to see all the photos, see people's reactions to their placings, and uh, it really like solidifies the resolve as far as like uh, making me want to do my absolute best. You see people with um, disappointing status updates and their pictures, and they're and they're uh, trying to cope with the, how they've placed and. Um, it's a good reminder for me going into this show, like this is the last two weeks, you got to put in like a maximum effort so that there's no second guessing, there's no regrets. And, uh, you know, two weeks is a short period of time when it comes to like how much time you've put in, in the years building your physique for, for a show or whatever. So like the show has been a couple years coming for me. I've never done the BC championship. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to getting it under my belt. And, uh, I just, uh, I want to, I want to go full out here from the last two weeks and make sure I give it everything I got so I don't um, end up being one of those people with um, excuses and regrets. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. This should be a good week. We're going to um, we're gonna stop eating the chicken in our meal preps. I'm going to try to replace all my chicken with fish. I know there's some bro science involved there, but um, a lot of uh, top bodybuilders and that will drop the chicken and, and switch completely over to like a cod or a tilapia for the last few few weeks of their prep the theory being that it will um, thin out the skin the last little bit and um, reduce some um, inflammation in that in the uh, in the skin so I won't I won't enjoy that but um, fish fish can be okay I'm gonna have to figure out some creative ways to prepare it this week but yeah um, I just want to leave you guys with something positive for uh, for the weekend for um, for my for my videos from now on, I want to instead of just 
giving you guys the old peace out. I want to leave you guys with something positive. So I went over um, my Bible app this week and uh, I picked a verse from one of the verses of the day for uh, this week. And I just want to read it to you guys. And that is, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. And that's Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. So that's something I live by. And um, I think when you live obediently and you have something to base uh, your life on and your, and your faith, um, trusting in God will just kind of keep you keep you straight and keep you square. And um, he's kind of like the solid rock in my life. And yeah, um, I know not everybody's going to agree with my faith, but um, that's what I believe. And uh, I just want to share with you guys. So have a great weekend. Enjoy your Mother's Day. And uh, we'll see you next week. Here at Gold's Gym Langley, doing our Sunday night cardio with the famous Matt Froze. I was doing a, a Mother's Day get together today and uh, I took home a sugar cookie and I ate it so I'm punishing myself with 45 minutes of cardio. That's I figure what? if I'm going to slam myself with a 150, 200, 200 calorie cookie I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go till I hit 800 calories. You're doing it, you're putting in the work. One step back, two steps forward, that's how it's done. Peace out.